get ready for the dictation start however the existence of human rights the very characteristic of these rights was not discovered or forged in 1948 these rights have existed ever since the advent of man and woman they have been in evidence ever since the quest for equality began a quest that transcended race and religion indeed human rights are intricately linked to the evolution of human society the sages of ancient india realized the importance of human election to the state assemblies and every election even to the local self governing bodies brings us face to face with the serious shortcomings in our electoral system these shortcomings are not confined to the time and process of elections they have a direct bearing on governance and on the functioning of the elected bodies if we take the accumulated experience of governance at various levels and of the functioning of our elected bodies in the past few decades we see how the infirmities in our electoral system have greatly weakened indian democracy the common people are the ultimate sufferers of flawed elections and the bad governance that results from them such governments lack the capacity to deliver on their promises to the electorate this is the main reason why the political parties and the entire electoral excise have less credibility today than before in the eyes of the voters the resultant apathy and cynicism are not good for our democracy indian democracy thus exhibits a worrying paradox on the one hand we take legitimate pride in the fact that india is the world's largest democracy and that its preservation is our greatest achievement since independence it is also true that at no time does the vibrancy of indian democracy become more manifest than during elections yet on the other hand it is the may weaknesses in our electoral system that have impaired our democracy the most removal of this paradox is the greatest task before us as we get ready to face the challenges and opportunities of the 21st century electoral reforms therefore must become a matter of high priority for the entire country and especially the political class the national agenda for governance which my party and our alliance partners have jointly adopted as the basis for our government has clearly stated our commitment to implement electoral reforms personally speaking this has been my area of concern for a very long time now